Mohamed Mursi and Ahmed Shafiq will face each other in the second round next month. Let's go to Cairo and speak to the political analyst there, Nabila Ramdani. Nabila, these men are from very different backgrounds and different sides. How polarising will this be for the Egyptian voters, do you think? Well, it is very polarised indeed, but there was never any doubt that the choice will be a straight one between an Islamist and indeed a former member of the Mubarak regime. The surprise came in the people who were chosen. Uh, in fact, an awful lot of uh, uh, people were expecting the ex-Muslim Brotherhood candidate, uh, Abul Futuh, to be a front runner. The more obscure Mohamed Mursi from uh, the Brotherhood, who emerged as one of the uh, runner-off uh, in the, the second round. The same thing happened in the other camp, uh, which included two former members of the Mubarak regime, Amr Musa, the former Arab League chief, and former foreign minister under Mubarak, was tipped to be uh, uh, taking part in the race for the second round. But it turned out that is now Ahmed Shafiq, uh, the former uh, prime minister under Mubarak, who prided himself with you know, his affiliation with the former regime and indeed the fact that he was an air force commander under Mubarak. So it, the two candidates will now be facing each other in, in a few uh, days. But, but it's not clear, is it, quite what powers either of these men will have since there's no written presidential constitution yet. Very much so, and this is a, a, a crucial point indeed. The uh, responsibility of the new president, whoever is, uh, has not been defined yet. The new constitution has not been drafted, and this is a major stumbling block uh, to democracy, as people are expecting that there will be an awful lot of uh, fighting between uh, the army, which is currently ruling the country and has been doing so since the removal of Mubarak, and in indeed parliament. But I can tell you that there is a lot of twists and turns uh, before the second round with fresh allegations emerging uh, by uh, the uh, leftist candidate who has been left out of the race now, uh, Sabahi, who is calling for the race to be suspended because of allegations of fraud favoring Ahmed Shafiq. The Muslim Brotherhood is also saying now that three million votes have been rigged by the police and indeed the army. And we've heard also former president of the United States, Jimmy Carter, whose foundation was here in Cairo to supervise the voting. And he's saying that his uh, center was not allowed to be involved in the final count of the vote. So it's not a straight uh, road ahead uh, to the second round. Okay, Nabila Ramdani in uh, Cairo, thank you very much.